Hey, what's up, guys? You got Carlos Conant versus GSP at UFC 154. And to be honest, no one cares about this fight. No one cares about Conant and GSP. Um, to be honest, if GSP does what GSP does, he's going to put Carlos Condit on his back, ground and pound him, and use his very good uh, jab and his very good well-rounded skills. And Carlos Condit is not a joke. I mean... We see what he did to uh, Nick Diaz, and that was a joke. Just jab run, jab run. I don't think he's going to be able to do that with uh, GSP. But GSP is not ha has not fought in over a year. So there could be some ring rust there. There could be an upset with Carlos Condit winning. And if Carlos Condit wins, is it an upset? Not really. GSP is known for not finishing fights. GSP doesn't finish fights, and... You got Carlos Conor on the other hand that finishes fights, and you got on one hand GSP who has been hasn't been in the octagon for over a year, I think about a year, and um, GSP's known to have beastly cardio, known to have beastly game plans, knows how to uh, mess people up. He beat BJ Penn like BJ Penn has never been beaten before. Beating John Finch like John Finch never been beaten before. Beating Matt Serra. Brutalized Matt Serra with those crazy knees. On the other hand, you got Carlos Condit, which is a very good, well-rounded fighter. Uh, I just found out that Greg Jackson's not going to be in either one of these guys' corner. May that have a, a role on who wins the fight? I don't know, because Greg Jackson is a very good corner man, and he knows these fighters to a T and he said he's not going to be training with any one of these fighters for this fight because he respects both guys and both guys train with Greg Jackson but my estimation is if if Carlos Condit comes out like he did very hungry very aggressive he can win this fight because GSP hasn't fought in a year so he could have some ring rust but honestly my gut instinct is going for GSP because um, if he comes out very hungry, because he says basically he's not the champion anymore. Carlos Condon is a champion right now, and he's going to come out very hungry. So I think he's going to come out like he did against Matt Serra and brutalize him with the knees, take him down. He's a very well-rounded fighter. Like I said, he can take it to the ground. He can, He's the best wrestler in MMA. He almost has as great wrestling as um, Chel Sonnen, but he, he knows how to... Uh, do very good submissions and very good uh, ground and pound, and he's very good with his wrestling defense and wrestling. So, on one hand, you got to—I mean, technically they're both well-rounded fighters. So, in the comments below, who do you think is going to win and why? But on one aspect, you got two dudes who are champions. One was a former champion in WEC and dominated over there. A lot of people say GSP doesn't finish fights; he's not a killer. Um, honestly, I think once you become a champion and you, um, what should I say, dominate so many fighters and you just repeatedly beat them, it, to me it seems like the dude's unmotivated to finish fights. I mean, if you're constantly in there with top competition and you're just jabbing like this and you're, uh, defeating people, he beat John Finch was one of the guys he beat down. He beat... B.J. Penn, because B.J. Penn really put it on him. He beat up um, Dan Hardy, and he couldn't submit Dan Hardy. So, to be honest, I'm going with GSP all day, every day. I don't really like Carlos Condit, but I think this is going to be a really good test for him. But they say if Carlos Condit loses and GSP wins, it's going to be GSP versus Anderson Silva next. So, um, I'll see you guys next time. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Oh shit, I broke my camera. No, not really.